right, guys and gals, gals and guys, this is Chris from MagnetiHelper.com, and today we're going to do a cooking kind of deal while talking about tech. It's a uh, tech slash cooking show. I don't know. It's an experiment. So anyways, I got three cameras set up. Um, we got this camera right here, you can hear. I got a camera right below it, it's doing a close-up right here. And I have a camera behind, it's doing another close-up just at a different angle. And then we're gonna mash them all together and then make one, one big video. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, and at the same time, we're gonna make a real delicious meal. So um, the audio I'll just grab from one particular uh, device and I'll just use that one audio track. And I don't have any wireless mic or anything, and that might be something I get down the road. But um, for now, I'm just going to use uh, one of the audios from one of the devices. So let's get started. I got some uh, coffee, and some a little pumpkin spice creamer working there. So a little iced coffee with some pumpkin spice cream. That's what we're drinking today. You can get a little wine, some beer while you're cooking. I don't drink, so. Uh, I'll stick with coffee. All right, what we're gonna do is just make a simple chili. So I'm a bachelor, I live by myself. Uh, what I do is usually cook in batches, so I have enough for the week. Uh, I don't need something different each night. I'll just have the same thing. It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, this is not going to be cooked on the stove. Normally, you'd have a big, you'd have a big pot, and then you'd cook it on the stove. But I'm going to be cooking it in the oven. I bought one of these. It's kind of small. I bought two just to the fact that um, I have a lot of ingredients here. But that's okay. Uh, I'm get out my beef here. I got, a, I got a beef. I got a beef for you. So this, uh, normally you'd cook this on the stove, get the grease off of it. So this is lean beef, so I'm just gonna mix it right into the recipe. Uh, I'm not gonna pre-cook it at all. It's gonna cook while it's uh, going in the oven. Um, okay. All right, and then we're gonna start with some. Uh, we start with a little olive oil, yeah. Olive oil, Popeye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you remember the old uh, Popeye cartoons, there. And um, I don't know. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. I'm just gonna put enough to layer the pan, maybe uh, like two or three tablespoons, if that much, and then. Uh, as far as the spices are concerned, I just threw, grabbed these out of my cupboard. Um, you and you get to different type of spices. It's really dependent on what you want. Chili powder is kind of important when you're making chili, so I would say go get some of that. Yeah. All right, so let's. Uh, we're going to start with a bean chip. So I got. Uh, I got four cans of uh, dark red kidney beans. I don't know if I'm going to need all four cans for this particular tin, but uh, give it a shot here. So we're going to open them up the old fashioned way. I don't have an electric uh, can opener. And so I'm going to do it that way. What I do is just, um, once this is cut, I'm going to drain the gook out of it. And then usually I just push, push, push it down all the way, and just get the good. Uh, Nothing wrong with a little gook in your food. It took a while to set up putting the cameras to the way I want them. I don't know if this is the way to set up the next time. It's just kind of an experiment. Uh, it's kind of a small cramped room. It's an apartment. So not a lot of space to uh, for setup. I don't have any type of special lighting. I'm just using the uh, this uh, the fan. Uh, Whatever you call this thing here. Uh, do 
that's all she said. Uh, range, range, so it's called the range up on top there. And I uh, just use a light from there and a light that's on the, on the ceiling right now. So a lot of times, um, actually all the time when I cook, uh, I just I eyeball it. I don't necessarily follow any type of recipe. I get an idea in my head of what I want. And, um, I've cooked enough to, to know what to, how much to put in for things. So as far as this concern, I'm going to put in all four cans. Lima beans, I had to get the dark just fine. And once we're done here, once we go into the editing bay, we're going to learn how to um, cut all three of the different. Um, videos that we're doing here into one. The frozen onions, um, you can certainly buy them and cut them up on your own if you want, but I'm too goddamn lazy. Cat. All right, now I got some uh, 
this is spaghetti. Well, it's not spaghetti sauce. It's actually tomato sauce. It's uh, Wegmans. That's a major chain of grocery stores that's here locally, and they make pretty good products. Uh, stuff's pretty good. If I get the damn thing over. Oh my lord. Okay, the next thing we've got is um, beef broth, and uh, I'm not going to need all this, so I'm not sure where else, I'm not sure where I'm going to put the rest of it, but this is something else, um, I'm trying to think if I had this or not, I don't think I had it handy, but you don't have to use beef broth, beef broth. this is just a personal choice. about a third of that can in there. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with the rest of it. I'll probably just put it in some type of container and freeze it. Um, use, it at a later, use it at a later time. Alright, so we're going to mix all this greatness together. Look at that beautifulness. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oops. And then if you happen to have, like I've got down here, um, frozen burgers, I have these left over. If you happen to have room in there, there's nothing wrong with throwing a frozen burger in there. It will cook up. Um, you don't really have to thaw it out or anything. You're going to cook it long enough for it to, to cook through and cook up. Uh, I don't know. I think I'll just put one in here just um, to show you as far as... So this is going to go on top afterwards, and I'll probably do it later once it's cooked, and I'll, I'll show you, um, I'll actually hand can that. Um, you some sour cream, and get whatever toppings you want, so over the top and stuff like that. But let's not forget the most important part here, the spices, right baby? So let's, um, and I probably shouldn't have, I probably shouldn't have put those burgers in there before the spices, but that's alright. So let's run to... So don't be afraid to put um, a smaller amount in because you can always go back and add it. It's hard to take it out. So I'm just gonna do like a layer and um, if I need more later, 
That's uh, chili powder. Mm-hmm. This is onion powder. Mm-hmm. Oh, excuse me, this is garlic powder. Cinnamon. I don't recommend putting cinnamon in it. We're gonna put cinnamon back. Okay. <laughs> I just grabbed whatever I had. Um, this is garlic and pepper seasoning. So I'll put a little of that in there. Again, I don't really measure anything. This is kind of all dry. <laughs> um, I just eyeball it. And I almost forgot um, the tomato paste to thicken it up. So, sure, I just put in a can of tomato, a can of tomato paste. Mix that in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll put all the ingredients uh, down in the description. It's just, uh, <coughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> And what it does is uh, that the um, tomato paste is gonna is offset the um, taste of the sauce. It's gonna make it a little more tomatoey. It's good. I don't put any sugar in here. I don't usually put sugar or salt, but you can certainly do that if you want. Make sure you wear um, maybe something that's already dirty because you just get dirty anyways. So that'll go right in the wash. Yeah, that's about as much as I'm going to have that. Um, let's see, there's this ground cayenne red pepper. This is hot, kind of, sort of. So. I'm going to be gentile with this stuff. Uh, I'm not going to get too crazy with it. Just a couple dashes. And if I want more, I'll go back and more. <laughs> um, ground cumin. Up to you. Uh, it's okay in small doses. Oop, this one hasn't even been opened. So I'm going to suck her up. And put a little in there. Um, so these are red pepper flakes. This is like stuff you would put on your spaghetti. Um, normally I don't put this stuff on until after I put it in my dish. So you can either put it in there if you want, or uh, just wait. It's totally up to you. It's your discretion. It's your dish, baby. Alright, so we'll just mix everything in here. Even though the burgers, you know, put those burgers in there. I probably should put them in last, but that's okay. Just mix everything in.
Alright, and then we're gonna do the, uh, we're gonna turn on the oven, and we're gonna do it for, um, I'm gonna do it for, for, uh, do it for 425. Uh, we can do a little hotter if you want. Maybe go 450 if you want. I'm gonna start at 425, let everything cook through. I'm not in a hurry to eat or anything. It can cook slow, it's chilled, right? I'm just not doing it on the top of the stove, I'm doing it in the oven. There's really not a hell of a lot of difference. Um, Stop green. 